we are about to go ahead and get into this is messy so please make sure you're liking up the video we have over 700 people here y'all have been asking me for this is messy so we got to do this is messy this is messy messy this is messy that messy everything yes okay this is why we here okay so make sure that you are liking up the video as we are about to go ahead and get into it so for the people that's new we have um six brown chicks chat okay over there on instagram they get a lot of questions in a lot of scenarios situations people be needing help they be needing a piece of advice to their situations and we like to give them a little bit of advice if we can because a lot of these folks i don't really be able to be able to, I, I can't help a lot of them okay but we try to do what we can over here all right so you know as the people are responding to the the message that's out there make sure that when you respond, you know, after the fact in the replays and stuff, you are listing the questions that you respond to. So let's go ahead and get to do it. Okay. Because question one is given this. All right. I took my girlfriend's car to pick up the birthday cake for her son's birthday party or for her son's party. The bakery is near another female's house. So I made an extra stop to see her. Girl, who that sound like? That sound like true over there on love at the lockup. But anywho, goes on to say, I was trying to go up to her apartment, but she came down with a hotel key. So we went to the hotel to chill. First of all, how do you have time to chill with NT1 when you're supposed to be getting a cake back for somebody party? Huh? How do you have time to go to when? Are you saying that you went back and chill with her at a separate time? Is that what it was? You didn't see her at that time. You spun the block back and y'all hung out at the hotel is what it seems like. Okay. She rented the room for her hair braiding clients. We hooked up and returned the car while backing out, out of the parking spot. My girlfriend emerged from the back seat and held a, wa a water pistol to the back of my head saying, get out the car. Next time I have lead. What? I have lead in my strap, not water. Uh-uh. She was in the back seat the whole time that you was well, maybe she wasn't in the back seat the whole time. Maybe you left the car unlocked, or maybe she had the keys when you was up there thinking you was doing your thing. Okay. So it's giving who is that? Uh what is it? Is it Joey and Kim on Love After Lockup where she got his uh tracking location? Maybe she had the tracking location on you and she knew where to go and find you. So she got in the back seat and laid low until you got in the car. And then that's when she whipped it out on you and said, this time she's going to have some lead in her strap and it's not going to be no water. OK, girlfriend tra tracked her car and used her spare fob to hide <laughs> to hide in it. Then I tell you, it was giving Joey and Kim. The incident was unsettling because I could envision my girlfriend holding me at gunpoint. I want to leave her, but I want to get out of this relationship alive. Advice. Baby, just go. Just go. Just go. I'm sure her having that water gun up to the back of your head, in my opinion, I doubt it had anything, you know, to do with you taking forever. It had more to do with you being with old girl. So if you want to go be with old girl, just leave. Okay. You ain't got to stay. If you don't want to be there, I want to get out. I mean, a lot. I mean, how about this? Make plans like you made hidden plans to link up with that girl. Make hidden plans to move to another state. OK, break it off. Check all your stuff. Make sure you ain't got no fobs. Get you a fob tracker or something. I don't know. OK, change your logins. Make check your um location. Make sure it ain't sharing with somebody you don't want it to share with and make your plans the same way you linked up with that girl in a limited amount of time. Come up with a, a time frame for you to get the hell on. OK, and, and get out of Dodge. OK, that would be the safe way. All right. Good luck. OK, let's keep going. All right. A uh, question two says I was played by a short squat traveling preacher with a child bearing hips. And I'm so angry at myself. You should be. It's funny how y'all be seeing the uh, all of this stuff on the front end and then be trying to drag them on the back end when you don't want them no more. But you was okay with that short squat traveling preacher with childbearing hips before he played you. Okay, you saw all of that before he played you. But anywho, let's keep going. All right. So the, she says preacher man was the guest pastor at our church and I knew he wouldn't be in town for long. Preacher man said he could bring me closer to God if I allowed myself to be vulnerable with him. And I did. I told him about my upbringing 
and my selfish teen mom and my need to be accepted by any father figure I could find. I got vulnerable with him at every other motel and even the Piggly Wiggly parking lot. Ma'am. Or sir, whomever you are, person, it's giving you played yourself. Okay, Piggly Wiggly parking lot. Really? These are things motel, not even you can't even get a hotel. You had to get a motel. Ma'am, sir, you played yourself, okay? Uh, preacher man, that's a gift from God. Embrace the miracle of life. I've offered to join him on his travels, but he refused. I don't want to expose him because I'm sure I'm not the only woman he touched at church. How do I make him return to me and take responsibility for our little miracle? Bitch, you done sat up there when they had a child. So you mean to tell me you finna have a short squat traveling, childbearing, hip dash child? Is that what you're saying? Oh, girl, you really played yourself the hell out. And you want him to return to you? Ah, you don't make no sense to me. I think, that, I mean, you don't make no sense. That he going to return anyway because that's just how he is. When he get time to dip and do it with you, he going to dip and he going to do it. Okay, but um, I just feel like um, you should air his ass out. I do. I think that uh, people like this at the church should be exposed. Okay, and um, that's just my thoughts. If you have a little miracle inside of you gone, I mean, maybe you need to put them on a little piece of child support. That's going to be enough exposing right there. And all the women going to be coming out in the woodwork. Okay. But um, that's crazy. Not you still want a person that you said was a short squat traveling preacher with childbearing hips. I guess he was childbearing, had childbearing hips because they got you pregnant, huh? When he was working that thing in that piggly wiggly parking lot, huh? I guess child, that is some mess there, ain't it? Girl, that is some type of scandal, ain't it? Well, good luck. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, question three says here, I've been with Amari off and on since we were in high school. A full decade of his bulls, lies, cheating, and my two abortions. Okay, when he's not in jail, he's accompanying me to other people's weddings. <laughs> Girl, I'm hollering, bitch. Now he coming to, uh-uh. That's crazy. I'm a makeup artist. He takes pics for my socials. You could take your own pics. This bitch just sat her ass up here and took video footage of a whole goddamn wedding. What the hell make you think you really need him to come along? You just got him. You just want him to be with you, huh? So you just give him a task. Just give him something to do. Girl, that's crazy. I guess, honey. She says, I finally asked Amari why he hasn't proposed. Uh-uh. Y'all know how they say always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Girl, this even seemed like it's giving always a makeup artist, never even a bridesmaid. What the fuck going on? <laughs> so she says, I fi finally, I asked Amari why he hasn't proposed. Amari said, you supposed to help me be a better man. You don't do your part. You don't buy me anything. You driving the same car for six years and you finished and, uh -uh, and you flush my seeds. You wasting my time. Miss, did you hear how Amari feel about you? Did you hear how he feels about you? From what he just said. And you've been on and off with this man. And chances are when y'all off is probably when he locked the hell up. And you're going to let uh, Amari come and play in your damn face. And play in your makeup and take pictures on your damn phone. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I, I mean, whatever you get is what you get, ma'am. I'm sorry because you see the foolishness. You see the writings on the walls. Okay. He ain't got a, he sound like he ain't got a pot to piss in. Okay. He don't got a pot to piss in. Don't even got a 10 year old car while he's focused on your six year old car. Hello. Do he have a bike? Bout don't even got that. Okay. It's giving Baroque. That's what he sounds like. He got the audacity to sit up here and drag you talking about something. You supposed to help him be a better man. No, but your mama was supposed to do that. Now, how about them apples? 
Okay? Your parents were supposed to help you be a better nikka. Honestly. Child, that's crazy work. And then he worried about some seeds you flushed. Girl, that's... Ugh. Girl, you, I don't know. But, mm -mm. Let's keep going. She said, of course I asked him why he hangs, up, hangs under me all the time then. Because you allow it. That's why. Amari says, I hang around you to attract other women who can upgrade me. And Amari... He would have got a hard wick on his ass. You hear me? Amari, you would have got one for sure. You're crazy. Okay? She told me something that broke me. <laughs> you sound like Mimi Faust. Okay? A glutton for punishment. It hurt me to my core. Ain't that what she told Stevie? Knowing Stevie was a dog ass nigga. Okay? And you over there talk about to the core. And you talk... That broke me. Girl, he's a brokey. All right? I can't. Amari took me to the uh, Olive Garden and apologized. He asked for another chance. And I think he proposed when he said, I want you forever. Ma'am? Ma'am, you're stupid. <laughs> Use your common sense. Right, what's going on? You shouldn't have to think that a person proposed to you. You should know this, ma'am. And then talking about he cried. Bitch, do you know how many niggas get caught up and cry? Come on. That is a part of the game. That is what they do. Do you know how many every time? That's what they do. They cry. Like, come on. It don't be real. <sighs> he cried, so he meant it. Girl, you stupid, is it? But he didn't have a ring, so then he didn't propose. Bitch, are you stupid? <laughs> Ma'am. Ma'am. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay? Wake up. She says, uh, did he propose? Bitch, don't ask me at this point. Don't ask me. What you think? What you think? Because you said you think he... What you think? Whew. What else she says? Um, I want to be his wife. She says, I don't want to ask him if he proposed because he may take it back. I want to be his wife. If y'all ever find yourselves in a relationship with a person that you're afraid to double check something out of fear of their response, that's not how that's supposed to go. And that ain't it. Okay, that's not it. You don't want to ask him because, ma'am, how can you take back what he did not give you? He didn't give you that. Okay. He didn't give you that. Okay. Um, let's see. Should I start making wedding plans given that he wants me forever? You know what? Yes, bitch. Absolutely. Yes, you should. Start making wedding plans. Please find your dress, find your venue, bitch, okay? Go ahead and show him what this shit finna look like. Let me tell you, that motherfucker gonna really run. You hear what I say? That's how you gonna get him to get the hell on, bitch. Yes, you should. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go ahead and start. Go ahead and start creating a Pinterest board of all of your ideas, everything you want. Okay, let him see the price, all of that, what it's going to cost to have your dream wedding. Okay, matter of fact, for him, you probably don't even got to do that much. Okay, you can just have a plan on what you guys are going to wear to the courthouse. And what photographer you're going to choose for photos. Wear a, one outfit to the courthouse and then change. Get a very beautiful outfit. You know, like y'all really had like a real wedding. And, you know, have the, the real luxury style. Go ahead and present him with those facts. And see how quick his ass run. Okay, that's going to be the quickest way you're going to get his ass the hell up out of there. Okay, girl, so go on. good luck to you. Okay, good luck. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's get, yes. Question four. All I ask Kenneth to do is to watch my kids. 
there are only four of them. A set of twins that's three years old and they play with each other. My five and six year olds play with the other kids on our block. And they know how to invite themselves to other people's houses for dinner. B-I-T-C-H. They know how to invite themselves to other people's houses for dinner. What is given is them other people already prepare plates for that for them kids because they know your it's not gonna feed them because but you seem like you'll never be at home. Okay? So allow your kids to be outside on the block hanging out with kids at five and six, you know, that's five and six or whatever. Ain't no telling how old the other kids is they hanging with. Okay, while you not there, I can't. Okay, I'm not that free of a parent, but um, do you, boo, but I guarantee you, they go ahead and prepare a plate for your kids, not invite themselves. Child, ain't that something, I guess. Let's keep going. So she says, so really, all he has to do is keep an eye on the twins. Apparently, that was too much to ask. Girl, you're a terrible mom. Like, what the hell? Kenneth contacted my older kid's grandma and got money to enroll them in summer camp. Okay. If she was going to send the money, please put them in summer camp. Okay. She goes on to say, Kenneth said I should put the twins in daycare so they can socialize with other kids. I argued that if that's the case, then he need to pay for it. Kenneth went behind my back and contacted the twins' father. The twins' father cashed out Kenneth's money each month for daycare instead of giving it to me. Okay? Now, their father gave it to Kenneth. Kenneth took the twins to the doctor and registered them for daycare. I'm disturbed by this because Kenneth is colluding with my exes to get my kids out of the house during the day. Why don't he want to watch my kids? Is he ching? Ain't nobody ching, girl. He just know that it's best. And I think that's the right thing to do. If you don't think you're going to do a good job, put them in places that they're supposed to be. Let them go to daycare. If they, and then my, my thing is this, ma'am. Why are the family so easy and ready to help out? Have you not asked for anything? Or do you do other things with the money when they give it to you? So they rather trust this random person named Kenneth. And who the hell is Kenneth to you? Is Kenneth your damn daddy? Is Kenneth your dad and you referring to, to your daddy as Kenneth? Is Kenneth your brother? Is Kenneth your man? Who the hell is Kenneth? Because Kenneth damn sure got more sense than you. And you over here mad at Kenneth. Girl, they about, yeah. I don't know, girl. Kenneth got more sense. Okay, and it's sad he can get more out of the family than you can. I don't know what you got going on over there, but you need to get it together. Now, what do you do for a living? Okay, girl, good luck. Let Kenneth keep doing what he do. That man is not cheating. Okay, he probably don't want to watch them damn kids, and I don't blame him. So if he could strategize somebody else to pay for it, then let him go on and let somebody else watch them. They do this for a living. Okay, period. Let's keep going. Question five. <clears throat> Ooh, child. All right. My baby mama and I broke up two years ago. I have visitation rights. I always make sure a female is with me when she drops off my daughter. I always make sure a like a random chick, a random female is with you when she drops your door. Are you trying to make her jealous or something? OK, he says, I know her heart breaks when I have women at my house. There is that. She often fussed about other BITs being around her daughter, but it was nothing she could do because I have visitation rights. To be honest, my baby mama's jealousy turned turned me on. Clearly. Clearly. Stupid old. But something happened. She stopped caring about my other women. Baby mama let our daughter keep her iPad during our visit. Baby mama's Facebook account is synced to the iPad. She blocked me on Facebook, so I don't know what's going on with her. Baby mama is engaged to a basic N-I-G-G-A, and they get married on my birthday. She chose that date to erase me. Instead of recognizing my birthday, she'll be celebrating her wedding anniversary. Well, it seemed like she gooped the hell out of you, kept you the hell out of her damn business, made you think she gave a damn when she really did it, and for the move the hell on. And for you to think that the birthday is really about you says a lot about you. It's probably worked out because that was just the best day for them. Okay? 
Now let's keep going. He's talking about something. What hurts is my daughter will be in the wedding. He's probably turning my daughter against me. What well, has the daughter turned against you yet? As you bring other just to the house, as her mom is there to get a rise out of her mother? You didn't give a damn about your daughter then, so why are you giving a damn about her being hurt now? All right? Um, or giving a damn about why are you being hurt now? Um, he says, I need to break up this future marriage. If she has a baby with this lame, I may lose my patience with her. So you, oh, so you thought when y'all broke up, baby mama was going to take you back at some point. So you call her bluff or she either put you out. You went and stayed with somebody, got these girls or went and got your own house or whatever, got these girls showing up. So you've been doing all of these antics to get under her skin, thinking that these are going to be things that's going to make her want you more. And the whole time she was plotting and planning to move the hell on. You actually helped her. And then now you mad. Who ain't that something? She don't need another kid. Our daughter is enough. You don't know what she need. You don't know that. OK, she don't need a marriage either. And you know what's interesting? People love calling other men lame that be about their business. OK, that man may be lame because he don't play those type of games that you be playing. Crazy man. She don't need a marriage either. How do I gain control of this situation? Uh, You can't. You can't. You just gonna have to sit in it. OK, you can't gain control over that woman. You she, you she wasn't being moved by the women you've had at your house at all. She been blocked you and erased you out her mind. So for you to think that you could possibly get any control over this situation, it, <laughs> you're funny. You're a joke. Okay? You're the lame. That's what it's giving. Good luck. Let's keep going. All right. So let's get to uh, what's here. Uh, question six. I cheated again and my ex left me again. Usually when she leaves, I send a few text messages like, hey, big head. And she's back and she's back in my bed getting pounded and begging for my forgiveness. But not lately. My ex left me for a guy she met at the gym. I joined the gym. She posted their sweating together pics. So I knew who he was and the time they worked out. He uses filters. He's much thinner in person. I enter the locker room and no homo. The guy's wangalang was unbelievably huge. It jiggled under the. <laughs> Whoa, are you sure you're not? Um, he says it jiggled under his towel and reached his inner thigh. You looking too hard for you to say no homo. You all up in between that man's legs through a towel. Okay, you all up in his business. You over there examining his filters. Okay, you saw what didn't have no filter. I tell you that. Okay, you foolishness clown. Um, he says he could be a porn star. I always thought my Taddy Wacker was the biggest and most beautiful one my ex ever saw because she used to tell me that. My Taddy Wacker looked like a raisin compared to his third leg. Now, listen, we had this talk on the panel last night when we was going through the images, okay, of the Emmys. And we had Tyler James up there and Jonathan Bailey, okay? And we were talking about how slim uh, oh, Tyler Williams is, okay? And it's giving the slim ones be having the big ones, okay? So that's why that man over there shook the hell up, child. I'm trying to tell So, anywho. He says, he caught me looking and smacked me. What you looking at? Okay. Whoa. I was shocked, embarrassed, and I left the locker room with my face on fire. I have penis envy. I miss my ex, and I have to cancel my gym membership in person, but I don't want to go back there. So I'm still paying $29.99 Still paying twenty nine ninety nine a month. I feel so small right now. Help me. <laughs> I can't help that, baby. You're going to have to walk into that gym. Is there not another one? You don't have to go into that one to cancel. I'm sure you can go to the, the one on the other side of town, okay, to cancel. They should be able to cancel you over the phone, okay? Oh, try. 
Okay, so if you that scared, I mean, you the one who said you know they schedule, you know when they be in there, you know when they not in there. So it should be nothing for you to moonwalk on in there when they're not there and hit cancellation on that membership. Okay, and not just sat up there and let that man slap you and ask what you looking at, freaking nigga. Oh, my God. Is this real? <laughs> Whoa, this is a lot. Well, <laughs> Good luck. All right. That's all that I have for you guys at this time. I thank you all for hanging out with me and getting into a few things on uh, today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I am Jamie. That's me. That's all that I have. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. My city in Codesac, coming out swinging like soldier rat. Leading my people like quarterback. Why study this shit? I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming. I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip. It just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the Gouda. We hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef for computers. I'm straight out the sewer. We come when you rest. Niggas be looking perplexed. So keeping my foot on their neck. No map. I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully oppressed. I was ready for years and they doubted me. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross them out of Came back with some battery, stand for my honor. But you run no gunner, packing the stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble? I done came too far to be humble.